so we are starting Sticks Collection, and of course one of the songs is Roll That Little Ball, which of course leads us to a natural ball song. Um, if you've never used balls in class before, they do require a little bit of management, and I want to just show you how I would use the balls in music class. So if you're going to use the balls for the obvious roll that little ball, I would actually start without a ball at all, and I would do something like this. I'm going to take out my imaginary ball. Can you blow it up? Too small. Let's put some more air into it. Ready? Too big. Blow some air out. A little more. A little more. Perfect. Let's bounce the ball to the beat. Do 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 do. Can you take a ball and roll it to a friend? I promise they'll roll it back again. Ready? Here we go. Roll that little ball to a friend. Roll that little ball back again. Roll that little ball to a friend. Roll that little ball. Roll. Can you roll your ball on the floor? Roll that little ball on the floor. Roll that little ball on the floor. Roll that little ball on the floor. Roll that little ball. Wouldn't it be great if we had real balls to play with and roll around with today? Guess what? I do. But before that we take the balls out, I just want to remind all of you that the balls in music class are a musical instrument like any other instrument we use, a drum, an egg shaker, or a stick. And the balls in music class are used as a visual representation of the beat. So if we are tapping or rolling or squishing, we're trying to do it to the beat so that we can show the musicmanship through this instrument prop. And remember, as usual, if you don't have a ball in your hands, that's okay. You can always roll and bounce and tap on your pretend ball, just like we did now. Don't worry about what the kids are going to do. They might feel very protective about their ball. That's okay. We're going to be great musical models for them, and we're going to show them how we use the balls in class. At that point, I would pass out a ball to everybody, and I would try passing it out on the beat so that you're modeling that. Do, 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 do. If you have a bag, let's just say. Do, 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 do. Now, before you actually roll the balls around to everyone, which is, of course, so much fun, I would do some exercises in your own little area. I also recommend having the parents, if it's comfortable, for them to sit with their legs out so that the balls, hopefully it'll create a little bit of a barrier. You may still get some balls rolling out, and that's okay. Um, but that way it creates a little bit of a ball barrier as we are passing them around the room. So you can, of course, tap the balls, drum on the balls, Squish the balls, go from side to side, um, tap them on your head, different body parts, roll them this way, find a different way to roll the ball, roll the balls on your body. So many different ways to use the ball. Um, and of course, taking the ideas of, of the kids and the families too. Now, Roll That Little Ball is an obvious song for balls. Um, I really like to use Spin and Stop as a transition for a ball song. Roll and stop, roll and stop, roll and stop, roll and stop. You can actually be rolling it to your friends. Roll and stop, and then they'll roll it back. Roll and stop. That way you're kind of practicing moving the balls around the space as well. Some other songs in the Sticks collection where you could still use the balls because the kids love to use them and sometimes taking them out for one song isn't long enough is follow me down to Carlo. Follow me as I bounce my head. Follow me as I bounce on my head. Exactly. Um, even you can use it right after the hello song. Hello to the balls. So glad to see you. Squish, 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 squish. Right away. Get them out, get them out of the way. Um, you can use them for a nigun. I, I find that actually standing up and dancing with the balls is kind of fun. Um, kind of using them as you would like a scarf. Um, but you can stand up with the balls and move around the space carrying them. 
um, stick tune. Hey, hey, what do you say? Let's all drum on the balls today. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. A great song for balls because you, you, you know that you're going to be given a direction so that you know what to do with the balls. So I hope that's a little bit helpful of how to use balls in music class. Miss Deirdre is our ball queen. She loves to use the balls. She has great ideas. Um, so of course, please reach out to her and I will reach out to her and see if she's willing to share any of her ideas with the balls and um, just have fun with them. Try them out. If it's getting too out of control, you know, put that little ball in the bag, put that little ball in the bag, put that little ball in the bag, put that little ball in there. Um, if you have classes back to back where you're using one set of balls, I do recommend maybe taking, um, making a spray, um, rubbing alcohol or, um, some kind of quick way that you can, um, clean the balls off. If you have two smaller classes, you might want to divide up whatever ball set you have and do maybe like six for one class and save the others for the next class so that you can you don't have to worry about the juicy balls rolling all over the place if you have time of course just take them to the bathroom put them under the sink with a little soap and water it might be a little damp you can bring a towel with you to kind of towel them off but i know in between classes you're doing other things so i hope that's a little bit helpful with the balls have fun using them um, you know the kids will they're a big hit and if you need more help on classroom management with the balls or if you have any great ideas Please let me know.